If you like to see how I'm going to transform these empty wine bottles into these lovely Halloween DIY potion bottles, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube, so today in this video I am going to be making some DIY potion jars. Um, that's going to be just some uh, Halloween decoration that I can probably sit outside or you can decorate your home with potion jars. So I have these wine bottles and they are um, empty. Someone gave these to me to do something with them. I had them for probably about a year. I couldn't think of anything, so I thought this would be great. So what I'm going to do is rinse these off with some really hot soap and water. I'm going to get the labels off of them. And I used my Silhouette Cameo Cutter. And I cut these out last week. The Skeleton and Bone so, logo. Then I have a spider. I thought these would be pretty cute and creepy to put on these bottles. Then one is going to say Spider Snot. One will say and Ghost one will Boogers. Say blue juice. So I thought these were really funny. Um, you can make your say the same thing everyone else makes their say. Like some people make their say Witch's Brew. Um, I can't think of the other ones, but they're pretty much all the same. So it's really up to you what you want them to say. You can get creative with it, funny with it, or however. So what I'm going to do is start by just getting these cleaned off. And so then I'm I'll going come to back. use some mica powders after I clean the bottles off to try to give them some color to make them look creepy and exciting. I also came across this empty bottle of Dayquil. I want to see what I could do with this to turn this into like maybe a smaller potion bottle just for fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and get the labels off okay, these and so I'll be back. I'm back. I have the labels off the bottle and it took me quite some time because, well for some reason, this uh, California Roots bottle, this wine, um, these were given to me but I know that this is a Target brand. This label came off fairly easy. For whatever reason, this Bacardi and this, uh, what does it say? McBride Sister Collection. It's still some glue on here, but I'm not gonna worry about it because these bottles are gonna be outside as decoration anyway, and it's not that noticeable. But what I did is I took the labels off under hot water. I scraped the bottle with a knife to get all the label off. Then I had to go over with some hot soapy water with a Brillo pad, and it took quite some time. Um, but I think there's other products you can use like Gooby Gone or something like that to cut the process down but it was kind of time consuming. This one, I just pulled the labels off. It's still sticky, so I'm not gonna try to scrape this off of here. I'm just gonna see if the decal sticks. So right now, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna put the decals on, then I'll be filling these jars. Okay, so here is where I'm adding on the decals of the sign vinyl that I cut out with my Silhouette Cameo onto this empty bottle that I wiped off with alcohol and cleaned. And I'm just going ahead and pulling that off to make sure I have it nice and flat and then pulling it off really good. Now I'm moving on to the second bottle doing the same thing. So this DIY is fairly simple and it doesn't take long. This part is very self-explanatory. If you don't have access to a Silhouette Cameo Cutter or something like this or a Cricut, don't worry about it. You can either use a marker to draw out your scary designs or just some regular Halloween stickers or maybe you can find some pre-cutouts on Etsy. So this little cutout that I'm using on this uh, NyQuil bottle or DayQuil bottle, I decided to use it at the last minute. And if you see closely, the cutout of the, the bones at the bottom are actually, it didn't cut out right. I think I didn't cut enough vinyl or something. And I was gonna throw it away, but I'm glad I didn't because it doesn't look that bad. And it worked for this uh, NyQuil bottle. Use mica powders and lip glosses if you're not familiar with what this is it just takes a little bit it's very pigmented um, if you don't have mica powder you can also use like an alcohol ink you can use food coloring you can also use some old eyeshadow people use this to make eyeshadows and things like that if you're just wondering what the mica powder is I think I got this like on eBay or Amazon so I'm gonna use this now so if you don't have any mica powders you can use food coloring you can use old eyeshadow or you could use Kool-Aid, or you could just do clear water. You don't have to do it exactly like this. And just go ahead and shake that up. I did it here, but I made a mess. Getting a little messy here. I'll fill the rest up at the same. Look at the effect of what the mica powder does. 
isn't it just pretty how it's just mixing up together real nice like that and I made this one brown because it says booty juice so maybe I could have made this white so it could show up better, but I think it shows up enough. So that's that. I'm going to move on to the next one. So for this one, it's already a dark colored bottle. I'm, I thought about just putting water in it without anything, but if I can kind of brighten this up a little bit, why not? So I'm gonna use some yellow. Okay, so this did lighten the bottle up, so I'm glad about that. And this was the yellow mica powder. And it still has that really nice effect. I like this. I'll fill this up at the same time. For the one that says Spider Snot, I have a blue mica powder. Now you're welcome to use whatever colors you want. Of course, that's optional. I just wanted them to be a little different. If you have a funnel, uh, use a funnel that will come in handy. I didn't have a funnel So that's why mine was a little messy water was kind of running everywhere And look at that you guys That is so pretty So I'm gonna add more water to them. Oh, I have one more to do This is the final one I'm gonna do and I know it's all sticky and looking crazy, but I'm okay with it because it was just too hard to get all that off and because it's already orange in here I'm gonna make this one orange this thing because I keep spilling water okay you guys here is the final finished result of these DIY potion bottles and I think they look really, really pretty. They actually came out a lot better than I expected. I think what really did it was the mica powders because the water inside looks so vibrant in these bottles. Now it's also great what I did with the Silhouette Cameo by, by simply copying and downloading the Halloween clip art from Google. You can do it that way or you can also purchase images uh, online from Etsy, the SVG files if you don't have your own cutter or no if you do have your own cutter but you don't know how to access these different shapes um, and these different images you can do that um, but this was very simple um, and it's fun it's something that you can do with your children um, you can do these but if you're not into Halloween which I'm not a big Halloween decorator I'm just doing this because it's great for people to um, do these type of DIYs to have something simple that they can do this is great if you're like a teacher and you want to do something fun and simple with your students. You can make little small miniature bottles. Your potion bottles don't have to be this big. Um, you can use any variety of colors that you want. So I think you can get very, very fun with this. And you don't have to have these old spooky um, different characters or um, images. You can make it fun. And you can make it more uh, friendlier. It could be lighter. It doesn't have to be so dark you know what I mean um, but thanks you guys for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you did find it helpful and thanks again for watching and supporting this channel bye bye check out our website myworldradiance.com and we do carry full leather inspired designer fabric for your crafting needs luxury inspired croc charms as well as iron-on patches and much more. Enjoy the coupon code MYROYALBEAUTY10 off. Check out our website, CRTacticalDefense.com, where we do sell in waistband gun holsters, belly band holsters, and many more. Please check out my discount code VIBES for a special discount for my subscribers.